Is Botsy Boo just a cute little robot that's been misunderstood? Or is he really a scientist eating monster like everyone thinks he is? Well, today we're gonna be watching a Poppy Playtime animation called Is Botsy Boo Really a Monster to find out. Guys, this animation is from Game Tunes. I'll link them down below if you guys do want to check them out. Don't you want to play? <gasps> There's a bomb long legs! Dude, these are the scientists from the Poppy Playtime factory. Yo, the scientists just went into the vents to escape Mommy Longlegs. Just you wait. Yo, what the heck? They fell into a trash bin or something. Who knows what could be down here? What was that? <gasps> it's a bot! The thing is, before it gets us, approach with caution, boys. Oh my gosh. Is it gonna be Botty Boo? What the heck? A giant flying piece of trash? Wait, that's Botsy Boo's hand! <gasps> what the heck? Botsy Boo just put the scientists into the shredder! Shh, shh, it's okay. You're safe. Wait, what was that giant piece of trash that just Don't fell out of the sky? I promise. Are these like different scientists? Don't go anywhere. Why is Botsy Boo talking to a bot exactly? There's player. Oh, what's in there? I hope it's puppies. Whoa. What the heck? Puppies, Many Botsy Boos? What are these things? They're like little Botsy Boo babies. Okay, not cute, not cute. <laughs> I can't stay mad at you. You don't know better anyway. You're not old enough for a moral compass. Yo, some of them look like dinosaurs, like the one in the middle. What are you doing here? <gasps> oh my gosh. There's the mommy Botsy Boo, I guess. Yo, that was pretty epic. Player's hand versus Boxy Boo's hand. Stay away from us, Boxy Boo. I'm not letting you hurt these little... Well, maybe cute's not the right descriptor, but I'm not letting you hurt these things. I'm pretty sure those are like Boxy Boo's children, player. You don't understand. I'm not trying to hurt them. And why should I believe you? Because... They're him. Are there her? Rescued them from a group of those humans that have been breaking in. And I've been taking care of them ever since. Look at him. How can you say no to that face? And he looked just like me. That's true. Yeah, they're like baby Botsy Boo monsters. I know I'm getting too attached. But I even gave him Yo, that one looks just like him. See? Paul? The men never came into the trash room, so I figured they'd be safe here. Yo, all the names Botsy Boo gave him sounds just like Botsy, Botsy, Botsy. Yo, messing with him. I had no idea. Someone just dumped him in the trash? Yes, right? They're so young. What kind of monsters would do such a thing? Right? The human scientist. Horrible past would do. <gasps> oh my gosh. You see, Boxy Boo, there's a reason they look so much like you. They're your prototypes. My prototypes? Prototypes? I've heard that word before. I'm sure you remember your creation, yes? No, no! Long before that, we tried and failed to create the perfect Boxy Boo toy. We'd improved upon the formula for a regular Jack in the Box. Our Boxy Boos were to play music as well as little sayings and walk around. We ran into some issues. Limbs Yo. not being strong enough, poor sound quality. But when we solved all those issues, we had the perfect little Boxy Boo at last. Yo, is that the perfect little Boxy Boo? It's one factor we forgot to check for, though. Yo! It just bit him right there. We an alternative approach. That's why you were created. The perfect oh my God. vessel that had control. Willpower. I had to dispose of them as inconspicuously as I could. Yo, if they couldn't make a tiny Botsy Boo monster, I'm pretty sure it wasn't a good idea making a giant Botsy Boo monster. Cause think about it. If you can't control a small monster, how the heck are you planning to control a giant Botsy Boo? So I hid them in the trash room, set up to be put through the trash compactor. But then I realized we bought a lot of money into creating these toys. So I sent the hazmat suit men after them. That way we could at least harvest them for materials. And the best part, there would be no sign of the real prototypes left. No way for them to be traced back to us. Yo, they were gonna harvest? But they're practically living creatures. You're evil. 
So you have concern for toy lines. Yo, he was gonna recycle those re I guess like Boxy Boo monsters, the many ones. But these prototypes are like my little siblings. Well it looks like you better make your goodbyes quick. <gasps> oh my gosh. Hey, it's not so bad. Maybe you'll meet a nice chill in the box one day and have babies of your own. I can make that happen. Ah! <gasps> oh my gosh! Yo, I'm pretty sure the human does not stand a chance against the Boxy Boo monster. Roxy, your first word. We're missing Paul. Yeah, there are three of us before. Yo, these monsters just said their first word and now they're having a full on conversation. One of us ran away to find help. What? Wait, 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 wait. Where'd he go? Hello. <gasps> oh my gosh. The scientists took one of the Boxy Boos. Roxy and Paul, you gotta save him. He's like our little ones i've got this yo whose side is player on is player gonna help him out and i've got to get to the trash control booth to stop that compactor that okay you. No, so i guess too dangerous i guess players on baki uh, boo's side it's not any more dangerous than here let's make a break for it it's like all the monsters versus all the humans <laughs> let him go oh but that's no fun be honest with yourself boxy boo is this little thing really worth it? Oh my gosh, he has a taser! Right, immortality for a weaker version of yourself. This thing is insignificant. You didn't even know it existed a few days ago. It doesn't really matter that much. It does. Yo! No! Okay, Bati Boo is able to save us. <gasps> what the heck? This dude is bald. <laughs> Yo, his head is so shiny. Creator. What the heck? His hair got back on now? <laughs> that made no sense. But you cannot outsmart me. Yo, there's player in the control room. What is he? What is he gonna do? What's that for? Sweet, we can lift the little guy to safety. Oh my God, he's using the robot hand like the claw machine. Give up, Boxy. I don't want to lose you. You're too powerful. So give up now, and I won't have to hurt you anymore. I'll send you in for repairs. It'll all be fine. Just hand over the prototypes. Yo, why doesn't player use the claw machine for, like, the scientists? Like, pick him up and, like, throw him somewhere. Put that down this instant. Yo! Everybody, we got you. Yo, what about the Foxy Boo? It's your own pal here. You don't have to do this. <gasps> no! Yo! What the heck? Foxy Boo fell down too? Yo! I think Player just saved him! Player was able to pick him up with a claw machine! Foxy Boo, are you okay? Wait, is Boxy Boo okay or? Oh, I'll be okay. Yes, he's okay! Yo, it's pretty funny how Player and Boxy Boo originally started fighting, but in the end, Player ended up saving his life. I need all you guys to go down below and hit that big subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on these bangers. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace the frick out.